in we go, in we go, with the flow, and in we go. Hello everyone, and welcome back. I'm the Game Beaver, and today we're going to be doing something different, as you've seen from the thumbnail, and possibly the title. Um, I was thinking, because, oh, we actually do have some things to do. Um, but before we, hold on, we got four things. Monsters of Deep, VIP only, What Lies Beneath, and Dino Stampede. Okie dokie. Oh, that's kind of more than I wanted. Actually, that's a lot to do. Okay, but first, I, I kind of was wanting to save this for a regular video. One that, um, you know, didn't really need too much to do in it. But, I mean, hey, this is probably going to be a long one. So, guys, Jurassic World, right? Love the game. It's the best. Number one. Better than... Skyrim. Oh my god, I've, I've just annoyed so many people. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joking, of course. It's an app game. You can't compare it to those types of games. Uh, but it's pretty darn good for what it is. So, anyway, I thought we, we could do is take a look at the concept art and difference between that and the actual models that came out in the game. Um, so, Ludia have been kind enough to actually give me a few. Um, although I don't know if I have them with me, actually, but, uh, I think they may have, but what I've been doing is keeping tabs on their Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and they've, they've posted various different concepts, uh, over the years, because if you didn't know, it's been two years since this game came out, how crazy is that? Anyway, it's a little sort of celebration, and it didn't come out exactly this time, but near enough, um, what I thought we would do is sort of go over, um, the models and the concept and the whole, like, the changes that were made and were they good? Was Is the concept better or the 3D model better? Uh, it's sort of an artistic discussion and, I don't know, I thought it'd be pretty fun. So, uh, this is the Triceratops, of course, one of the first creatures that I think any of us level up and the one that, um, becomes our best creature. Quite, but it's either this or Majungasaurus. But yeah, I, this was the first one I got at level 40, and the first one that took me by surprise when I saw its huge transformation between uh, this and this <laughs> uh, abomination. <laughs> well, black that one out. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> anyway, so this is its normal. I mean, I mean, this is the final rendition of it. Uh, and let's bring up the concept art of it. Um. You can see what changes were made to it and things that were kept in. I kind of like the concept because it, it's sort of like the head. That looks like the Triceratops from the Lost World, very much so. Um, or the one from Jurassic Park, whereas this one, um, it has a different look to it. And it's kind of hard to bring over, um, you know, a, a, a 2D drawing or illustration to a 3D model. It, it can, some things have to change, of course. But uh, I, I think I prefer the um, the concept in this one. Its legs are a lot longer. I, it, it, some people see Triceratops as being quite short-legged, and or at least I've seen different uh, incarnations of it. I think I prefer the taller one. The same with the Stegosaur. I've seen very low Stegosaurs with almost, almost their belly dragging on the floor. And I think I prefer, you know, a higher, a, a little lift give them. So, uh, I mean, leave in the comments telling me uh, which concept arts you think were better or which models are totally glad that they definitely changed and stuck with. But really, the biggest difference between this one is the horns, actually. They seem to put white tips on them. And as well, they've given them horns running up the crest. At least there's two of them. So it would have, like, almost four horns. But they've kept the chinny chin. They've kept the longer spikes. You can see they've, they've kept the heart of it, basically. Um, but this is... A really good concept art. You're gonna see we're gonna go over quite a few and you can see some that see some of them that were almost a bit more rushed and some were you can tell taken time over or a, a, a lot more. I'm sorry if they were different artists and I've just like annoyed I've, I've made like an office dispute and he's like ah mine's better <laughs> But anyway, let's move on to the second one um, Which I'm hoping is in the park right now. We may have to switch him in um, hold on. I think we will, because we've got so many decorations. I really, really do hope that they, um, they make some sort of expansion soon, or else I am, I am really running out of space in here. So let's try and find them. Can you guess what it is? It's not in the park. 
What's it gonna be? It is the Majungasaurus level 40. So this is of course the um, the first carnivore you get once you defeat him in the tournament. Sorry, the tournament, the battle arena. That's it. Uh, and this is it's um and now I think that this is him because I could be wrong. There's no name with it, or at least th these are like from the first ever posts on their Instagram page, and. It looks kind of like a Carnotaur. However, Majungasaurus, like Carnotaurus, I think similar family, maybe, um, had short arms. But there is a drastic difference between this guy and the concept art. That looks very Carnotaur. And if it is a Carnotaur, where the hell is it in the game? And if it looked like that, that would be awesome. Um, you'll see a lot of these early concept arts do have this blue and white sort of base although i mean i really like that one i guessed it was majungasaurus it could have been on the instagram post the text that came with it did say majungasaurus but um it was right next to the triceratops and i thought what else could it be so looking at it now that horn i mean majungasaurus does have a horn on its head and it's possible that that one also and if it's perfect per if it's a perfect portrait picture then yeah, it's possible that could be a Carnotaur, but if it is, you would imagine they would show a little bit of the other one on the other side of the head. But as far as concept goes, um, it's a great, it's a great Carnotaur. If it is a Carnotaur, if it's a Majungasaurus, I think I prefer this one. The colorings are nice. They seem to do this fade out at the back with the tail. They did it with the Triceratops. But uh, yeah, which one did you prefer? I think. I mean, you can't really compare like that. If that was in a game and it looked exactly the same. Jesus, they would have to spend ages on that, getting that to look awesome. You're talking about maybe the aisle quality of, like, finish? Maybe not, um, not Ark. <laughs> Ark seemed to go big and broad. Um, something else happened there. It's, you hear that weird noise, like, I don't even know what the hell that was. Okay, let's put you back. Moving on to the next one. I'm pretty sure we may have this in the park. Um, but just in case we don't, let's have a look. There he is. The oh, oh, he's uh, he's 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 too big. He's she's she's too so big. It is of course if you saw me click it there. The tapi jara tapi yara tapi hara, whatever you want to call it. This crazy looking thing. When I remember when I first got this in the park, it looked like some evil villain. Look at that. It's basically a skull. You can see the, like the holes, the, where the bone is, the teeth. But we are looking at the level 40 version. So if we bring up the concept art now, you can see the colorings stayed almost identical. Um, they've changed the bit above the mouth where it's red in here. It's yellow on the, um, on the concept art. But they kept its terrifying presence. You can see it's, it's like very sleek, very evil looking almost. And the teeth is like... Arr! That's what I can see it anyway. Um, I think these are quite evenly matched, actually. I, I might prefer the in-game model a little bit more. So let's move on to the other one. We definitely have this one. And it is, of course, Fluffy. Um, and this salamander looks a lot a lot more red. Um, and a lot more slippery, slimy-like. It could be the level 30. But then again... It doesn't look like the level 30. It has to be a level 40 um, on the on the concept art because it has a sail running down the back. And so does this one, as all the other ones don't have any sail. But this one does. Um, so I, I think I prefer this Flaffy. That one looks kind of... Like it wouldn't be a miss online if you saw it. If you Google search Diplocalus, you'd find that. And I feel like maybe... Maybe they just changed the color? If they did draw that, that looks awesome. It looks like a real salamander. However, this thing, this thing's just crazy with its colorings. So I have to go with that one. So on to the next one. This is probably going to be the most shocking, actually. Uh, it is the Velociraptor. So this is what they ended up going with. Are you ready to see one of the earliest versions of the Raptor concept? Oh, no! Kind of crazy, isn't it? It's nowhere, absolutely nowhere near um, this sort of um, level of furnish. It kind of looks like they took a concept art from Jurassic World and then added spikes on it and then went really dark and dingy with the, um, the color schemes. You'll notice that a lot of these concept arts have very dark colors and it's almost like 
Lydia had this idea like, oh, Jurassic World's quite a dark movie, maybe. You got Indominus. It's a lot of, like, maybe, you know, horror undertones a bit. As well as, you know, it's, it's a triple A movie, but it's quite dark in places. And I think a lot, like, with the Carnotaurus or the Majungasaurus, the Raptor, you got very these whites and then dark blues. But obviously, either Universal or Lydia decided to change it. They kept the spikes, but when hell, we're going to have a... a <laughs> The, the land cruiser that you can see in the background. We're going to have the four explorer colors from the first one. And um, I'm trying to see. No, it's not really. Maybe they were just trying to go for a hybrid of blue because it has the red scheme running down the back. And even the level ones look more like the Jurassic Park Raptors than this thing does. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of glad they decided to go with this one, though. I, I think you guys can agree as well. So we're going to move on to the first aquatic concept. Now, at this point... You can probably imagine that Lydia kind of know what they're doing. When the aquatic update came out, they were like, yeah, we know what we're looking for. There's a certain style. So let's go find the Mosasaur. And you'll you'll notice this with um with uh, the difference between this and the concept art. So he is the in-game model. How, what, are you, what are you thinking? Big difference or no difference at all? <laughs> you ready? It is this thing. Yep. It's uh it's almost absolutely identical. They've kept the big dorsal fin along the back, the tail with oh my, oh you're just going away. All right, see you in a bit. I can't I can't move the camera up anymore. I don't know why they've decided to change that, but uh, hey, they have. Hopefully they'll change it back. Maybe it's just a glitch. So yeah, colorings exactly the same. Head a little bit longer in this version. Um, but yeah, everything apart from the bump above on its head, like on the snout, there's a little bit of a bump. On this guy, there isn't. It's got the spikes running down, the tail's the same, the color scheme's the same, the fin's the same. Uh, the flippers are a little bit different. Um, I think this one looks a lot better. Uh, the in-game model looks a lot better than concept. So moving on to the next one. Uh, this is a very early one, actually, and I think we have it already in the park, this guy. Uh, no, it's not that. Hold on. Maybe we don't. I feel like we might, though. Where are you, buddy? No, we mustn't have it. Okay, so let's. Uh, sorry, uh, Tapiara. I know you've you've had a brief little <laughs> little excavation. Um, no excavation. A little exploration into the outside world, and you're going back in the hangar. Uh, where are you? Where are you, buddy? You've got there. You are. It is the Quetzalcoatlus. 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 Whatever you want to call it. And this is the concept. Um, I think. This, again, is more of a dark undertone with the concept art in comparison to the ones that made it into the game. I like the I like the concept, though, for this one. I've got to admit, I like it more than the one that's in the game. And it's not because of the colorings. I think maybe the colorings are a lot better in the 3D model. Uh, a lot brighter. It has, like, a fluffy tail, which also the concept art does have. It's more so a fluffy back than a tail, though. But I like its eye. I like its eye quite far back set, almost on its neck in the concept art, and it's got more detail on the um, headdress, on the headpiece. Uh, and its beak, sharp, pointy, looks very dangerous and deadly. And the, of course, it's got like dragon wings. It's got holes in it. I I don't know, I think that if the 3D model color scheme was on the concept art, it wouldn't work. I don't think it would work at all. But uh, yeah, I, I quite like um, I quite like both in a way, and I think these were the, this was the one that was sent to me. It could be either that or I found it, but it is the Ankylosaurus, and here's the concept art, almost identical. Um, it's, yeah, I'm trying to see any difference. I mean, this the one in game is more orange. I don't know. I think I prefer the concept color. Um, it's almost like they turned up the hue and saturation a bit too much on this one. Very orange, very bright. Although, maybe that works for it. It has its armored neck and head, which change it, which changes into spikes. Um, it's club tail, again, very big clubs. I mean, if you look at the difference between this and this, there's quite a, bit, a lot of change. Um, I think this ankylosaur is a lot, again, it's lower to the floor, whereas the concept art is higher up. And I, I don't know, it might just be me, my bias, but I um, I prefer uh, the concept art. I like it's it's higher, it's high, higher. <laughs> and its legs also have um, more armored calluses. I think that's the right phrase. As opposed to this guy, who's quite um, soft and fleshy on the underneath. Um, 
and a lot more fatty. You can see it's quite kind of round, whereas the concept art, it's flat at the bottom. So uh, let's move on to the next one. Another one which hasn't changed too much. And I don't think I have it either. Oh, I mustn't. Okay, yeah. Let's let's go and find them in here. I could have had loads out, but, um, you know, I'm just sort of waiting on the update here, Ludia. You know, you're going to drop and make level 85. I know you're going to... I mean, 80. 85 would be amazing. I would love to have loads of statues. Anyway, it is the Dilophosaurus concept art. This was a very early one, if I remember right. And it looks pretty much the same. Um... Its head crest, its headdress is a little bit taller. Um, its teeth, although, it, like, its actual mouth looks more like a piranha on the concept. Whereas here, it's more Dilophosaurus-like. It has spikes on its head here, but not in the concept art. Um, I think I prefer the coloring, though, on, on the actual body of the concept art. Because that doesn't look too dissimilar to the one in Jurassic Park. Whereas even on this one... There was no real Jurassic Park esqueness to it. Um, whereas the concept art, you can see the back. Like, I'll bring up a Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park, like the coloring that was iconic. And you can see it in the concept art, whereas in the Jurassic World version, nothing. It's just its own thing. And I quite like that. The crest, if we bring it out, come on, let's, let's just annoy Dilophosaurus. There we go. Is again. Pretty similar. I quite like the frill in the in-game model as opposed to the concept art because the one the concept art looks like kind of a giant margarita pizza apart from the spikes on the edge. If your pizza looks like that, I would probably send it back and worry uh, that they're uh, trying to kill you probably. So we'll move on to the next one. Um, I, I do have this creature actually. This is interesting. This is a very late concept art and looks like a different artist did this one. It's very watercolored, so let's see if we can find, find it. Uh, I don't have this guy maxed up, would you believe? I've only got level 30. Um, so we can't really do a comparison, but we've seen it before. And I've got to admit, <laughs> it looks like it's a camel, actually, with a hump on the middle. I never noticed that. But I'm pretty sure the level 40 is pretty similar. Uh, maybe the tail, not so much. And maybe its hump isn't as high as in the concept art. But it's almost at this point... They, like, because this is the same time as uh, Mosasaur, and you can see that the Mosasaur was very similar to its in-game model. And this one as well, incredibly similar. So I think they, there's more of a communication between the concept artist and the 3D modelers, and maybe more of an idea of what they're going for. Um, as opposed to the really early ones, like the Velociraptor and the Carnotaur or Majungasaur, where it was very drama drastically different to what they came out with. So we're going to move on to another concept art. Again, this is a creature um, not too dissimilar to its counterpart. Um, uh, let's see. There's the Megalodon. Yes. Everybody's favorite giant prehistoric shark. And every uh, favorite of the uh, favorite of the B movie. Of course, there is a million Megalodon movies out there. And ooh, that was a cool pose. So here's its concept art. Um, very, very similar. Got to admit. I think I prefer the in-game model. And this is something that I didn't expect to say all the time. I expected for me to go, um, concept art wins every time. But actually, I, I kind of prefer the in-game model. Its head is a lot more vicious in the concept art. It looks a bit derpy. Uh, it's a lot more streamlike in here. They've narrowed the, uh, the space between... Actually, I think it's just the whole design. It, like, from the bottom of the jaw, curved up towards the nose, is very vicious-like. And its body is a lot more streamlined and stretched out in comparison to its concept art model. Especially, it seems like they just went the whole hog with this one. They were like, you know what? Let's just make it even more vicious. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe the 3D modeler was like, actually, I think it would look a bit better like this. And maybe uh, that's why its teeth, of course, are jutting out all over the place in comparison to the model. Um, it seems like maybe the concept art was, they, I mean, they knew what they were going for. And then the 3D modelers were like, okay, we really like that color scheme. We like the design. However, we're just going to change it a little bit. Give, make this a little bit narrower just to make it work a little bit better. So that this Megalodon was probably a love child between the concept artist and the 3D modeler, possibly. Oh, I love that tail. It's huge. The way it sweeps around. You could feel that whacking you. Beautiful. Okay, 
So that's, an, that's enough admiring of the Megalodon. On to another one. Now, this is strange, this one. Um, we should definitely have this. Yep, there it is. It is the Shunus. Oh my god, it's a dark cast sky, isn't it? It should be lovely and sunny and it's grey. Okay. Weird, because the lighting would appear to show a, uh, a lovely sunny day. But anyway, uh, the concept of the Shunosaurus. Voila! Uh, legendary. I didn't even see that they had legendary and stuff at the bottom. So maybe, maybe they would have changed them. But anyway. Um, very similar. The only difference is I, that I can see the tail in the uh, in-game model version. The tail is a lot smaller. I mean, it looks big there because it's close to the camera. But in comparison to concept art, the tail is huge. It's so thick. And that, I mean, I couldn't even manage it. Like, just the tail itself is really broad. But the, um, the actual club at the end as well is massive. So maybe they decided to tone it down because maybe it didn't translate. It's possible. It could, its head is also very small in the, um, in the concept art and legs really thin. But obviously they had a model to go off and rigs that they had to also go off. So it could be possible that uh, they just change it to fit the other rigs that are already existing. So, I don't know. How, how many more do we have left? Oh, this is the last one. I mean, the, the oh no, there's two more. There's two more. There is probably a load more concept art out there. Uh, but these are the ones that we're just going over right now. Because we don't want to run the episode into 40 minutes. <laughs> that would be kind of crazy. So, on to... I'm pretty sure I've got this guy. I'm pretty sure. Or do I? Ooh, I don't think I do. Okay, let's pack your bags, still officer. So I know, I know. Off you go. So, let's find you. Where are you? Where are you? I should have had this set up. Uh, you know, this I'm, I'm professional, guys, here. We all know it. So, uh, here it is. Now, this the concept art that's shown is a level 40. So, before we do anything, we're just going to level this up to level 40 to compare. Because uh, it's quite, it's like the, the Dino, Dino Cheris. Um, it's it's kind of cool just to compare the actual models rather than, you know, if do you remember what it looked like at level 40? So, and because we don't have a Ostrophicosaurus level 40, it's probably better to get uh, Dino Cheris to level 40, just because it's a better dinosaur, but it's going to cost more, because we only have a level 30, and we're going to have to buy four more. Whereas here, we don't have to buy any. All we have to do is uh, feed and then speed up. That's all we have to do. I'm pretty sure there's like T-Rex art, like a T-Rex... Um concept art. I'm pretty sure there is an Ankylodocus concept art. Uh, if you if you want to have a good rummage around, just go on their Twitter, go on media, and just scroll down. Go on their Facebook page, scroll down, go on their Instagram, scroll down, and you'll find loads of cool concept art that they've posted over the, uh, the past two years. And it's something that really I'm, I'm interested in, because I've been to uh, I've been to uh, game officers. Um, I went to F Gold and I sort of I saw the concept art, um, and then like seeing the concept art in comparison to the models that made them made it in game. It's really interesting to see what they decided to drop, what they changed. Um, however, I I did I don't ask the question as to why they changed. I'm just like, oh, they they decided to drop that, did they? But uh, yeah, anyway, it's it's really cool. And, I've always done sort of things that on this channel that I find entertaining or interesting and um, in you know I mean if you're here I, I would think that we have a similar taste of what's interesting so here we go this is Ostafricosaurus Ostafricosaurus and here is the concept art um now ooh, I don't know how I feel I was never too fussed on the model in game of Ostafricosaurus. It wasn't a dinosaur that was incredibly powerful to begin with. I think I had the T Rex maxed because it was a T Rex long before Ostafricosaurus. So it was always more of a backup dinosaur as far as the game goes. Um, now, as far as art, um, hmm, he's a lot rubier in the concept. Like I can see him glowing, like emitting a, like a, a radioactiveness on that green. And like as if the the red was a flame inside and it was sort of emitting like this warmth like a radioactive dinosaur um it kept its like giblet it kept the f the sail the sail was enlarged with the spikes um although the spikes in game are regular spikes and the spikes on the uh, concept art are green spikes um they defined a lot more of the colors maybe they decided it didn't work too well uh the feet as well they kept well obviously in the concept they've changed 
Uh, it was always a legendary, or at least in this in this picture, they decided to make it legendary. Um, I don't know how I feel. Uh, maybe if it was that color, I would have felt different. Because Ostafricosaurus was that. And to me, it was never really that impressive. And then at level 40, it, I, I don't know. I, I never was really blown away by it. But maybe if it changed into that, I would have been. So uh, I'm going to say concept art wins that one. And we have one final one. Um, if we can find... Sh it should be here. Of course it will be. It is my favorite of the hybrids. One of the favorites. It's got a... Uh, it has to be admitted. The Carnaraptor. So let me just bring that up. There it is. And my god, this thing looks crazy in the concept art. <laughs> you can see in the in-game model, they made it more raptor-esque. But... In the concept art, its eye is almost halfway down its head. And I'm guessing that's to make it look more like a Carnotaur. Its horns above the eyes are a lot bigger. It looks it looks like it's more stockier and smaller. Whereas he, in, he, in this game, the 3D model, it's sleeker, longer, agile, probably to keep with the rig. Uh, because if it was, if, if that model, the concept art, was put into game, they may have to change the rig. And that would be a ton of work just to do for one creature. And I'm guessing what they do, um, like Ludia or the game developers animation, I'm just speculating here, I don't know if it's true, but there will be one rig for all of the raptors, and each model will reference that rig. So for them to make a separate rig, and then for, that, for this Conraptor to reference that, would be a lot of work, I'd imagine. Um, I'm guessing. <laughs> Again, just speculation here, but I... I don't, I, you know what? I've grown to attach to the in-game model for uh, Conoraptor. I love it. It's like the it's a bargain hybrid. You can't get better than that. So I, I mean, I'm always gonna sing its praises. And that, my friends, wraps up all of the concept art that I have right now. Maybe if you guys uh, send me a link on Twitter or a picture, we'll do some more of these in future. This is awesome. I, I probably need to root around. This was a quick jump from their Twitter, from the Facebook to their Instagram. Um, It'd be awesome. I, I mean, if Ludia, if you're listening, if you if you want to send me all of the concept art, that would be awesome. <laughs> I know, I think it's cool. Cool to see how a game develops. It's a bit like we see with the Isle, we see with uh, Mesozoica, with Prehistoric Kingdom, the way these games are changing all the time and the improvements and changes, and we feel like we're part of it. And it's, it's nice to see that, like, you know, a, a game like this with so much budget behind it, also goes through it and it's all it's always nice to see the creative pro uh, process flourish um so uh, let's quickly win a vip pack because we were worth it because we're worth it <laughs> god thank god i'm not employed by advertisers so um we've got a pretty strong team two indominus rexes as well as an ostafricosaurus so um if we put in press the sutures they're going to switch in Ostoposaurus. And hopefully, hopefully we can kill them. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to risk the biscuit here and just go for those. Now, under any normal circumstances, I would be a bit apprehensive because he can probably kill me in two. Um, oh, we can't kill me in one. Thank God. Because we can do the 8, 7 to 8 attack glitch, we can kill two of them instantly. So all we really need to do is kill one and get seven goes. And that's it. Now, somebody's messaged me on Twitter and told me that they've managed to kill one creature while speeding up, but not the second one. So it seems to be a 7 or 8 kill does not necessarily mean you're going to kill the next creature that comes in if it's stronger. If it's stronger, it's going to live. So um, that was that was quite a little uh, interesting bit of information um, that was relayed to me. I was like, oh, that's how it works. So Indominus Rex is probably going to come in with three. And he can kill me in two. So he should go for a full-on three. Come on, go for a full-on three. Go for a full-on three. Awesome, okay. So, if this was like regular play, I would... <laughs> I'd probably be a bit nervous at this point. But we can't die in two. And we know he's got no more goes. So, we go for two block, three reserve, and that's it with one. Doesn't matter what he does, with one. See, we've done concept art. We're not, we've like criticized the game in certain in certain ways not really we've had fun and we're also winning card packs 
which is awesome. I'm also playing Rise of Burke as well at the same time. Um, and I love that game too. I don't know why it's spent so long not playing it. I love it. So here's a legendary pack. Best creature we could get. Probably a T-Rex, I would imagine. So, oh, that looks like... What do you think, guys? Have a guess. Have a guess what that is. I'll zoom in so you can see what it is. Or what I, what I can see, because I can zoom in. I can be like, woo! I'm going to say... Oh, it's got an Ichthyostega. I'm going to say Ichthyostega. Are you ready, guys? So we've won 5,000 DNA, 1,000 bucks, or 500 bucks, and it is... Oh, Sarkasukas. Damn. You get Sarkasukas, you deserve a cookie. And we actually get VIP points for once. Thank God. Okay, let's get the helicopter in. Oh, ooh, same thing again. Okay. <laughs> so many Indominus Rexes. Right. Hmm. <laughs> well, we need some good amphibians, but we only have a few left. Um, that's, that's actually that's miles too good. Um, let's go for a Sarkasuchus and Ostoposaurus Gorgosuchus. That's good enough. We're gonna go for the one block with um, Sarkasuchus because he cannot survive one hit from Ostoposaurus. So, I know I kind of want him to survive, so. Now we can play it safe. Uh, I could have went for two blocks here. And I probably should have, because we would have secured an extra go. However, if he goes for one, or two, we're dead. And he goes for two. Um, that's okay, that's okay. We've got the strongest um, amphibians to boot. Or some of the strongest. The you know, only, only thing's better is level 40 versions. So, he went for a full-on attack. We kill him in three, and then we're nerfing uh, Indominus Rex when he comes in. So that 1,932 attack goes down to 983. A whole 1,000 difference. And he can't kill us. He actually, if he went for four and three, he could. And he only goes for two. <laughs> Bless it. We could have won there. He could have killed us. But that's okay. We're going to go for four reserve, two block, and we've won no matter what. So when this next update comes out, I'm guessing they're going to fix this. Um... Hopefully they'll make a mistake and we can have Blazer creatures fight land creatures. Just putting it out there. That would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, who could forget the time when we had uh, Glacier, uh, sorry, aquatic creatures fighting land creatures. That was awesome. So what's the max a level 30 Gorgosuchus can do? 50,000. And he's very, very dead. So that's a helicopter pack done in the bag. Where we, whoa, what do you think we're going to win, guys? <laughs> Megalodon? So it's 1,500 DNA. And Helicoprion. We're getting back up to half a million. My favorite number, apparently. Uh, and now, Dino Stampede. Ooh. How many dinosaurs do you think Metrophodon can kill? That, like, have a guess. Do you think it can kill them all? Well, let's, um, let's see, shall we? Because the first one's dead. <laughs> Waboosh! Uh, Labyrinth Labyrinthosaurus, still dead in one, so that's good. Please go for two attacks. I'm gonna go for two anyway, just in case he blocked for one. Ooh, blocked for two. Okay. Now, the thing is, right, I went first, so I got to kill one dinosaur. And then when he came in, he went for a full-on two block, and he, he, he just survived. Now, if he went for a full-on two block again, I could kill him, because he went for... Like, I've got three, so going first is so much better. Double you actually did kill. a decent amount of damage. My Trophodon, although it has loads of attack, its health is is about average for what it is. I wouldn't say it's amazing. But, uh, I mean, the thing is, there's nothing really on par with Metrophodon. So, it's, it's health sort of okay for what it is, but it's amazing for everything else. And its attack is a... it's an A++. So, we went for a two hits there. Um, I think I can do that. I don't think I, oh, he did have one block. Okay. That's not good. I was hoping to kill him, actually. Banana fingers is the next thing. Banana fingers. And he does not have much attack, even with the boost. So that was a three, was it? Or was it a four? It was a four. Okay. Right. So he's going to have six. Six is attacking numbers. So he might go for it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so he's got two block. Come on, Metrophodon. I want you to kill all of them, although... I mean, we could we could still kill two instantly if we get a seven. So he's got two block. 
And there we go. If did he go for the two block? He did. Good. Okay. Triple so kill. That's uh, is that three kills? I think that's three kills. <laughs> Doing amazingly well. I've only got the other dinosaurs in there for backup, just in case, because I don't want to do this and then lose. So it goes for a full on four. So many hits. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So he's dead in one attack again. Oh my god. Overkill. Banana fingers down, five left. Yuteranis comes in. Okay. What are you gonna do, buddy? Getting some major attack on the go here, though. We have eight, so I'm gonna block for three. Oh, sorry, I'll block for four. Right, he's gonna have a max of three attack, which is gonna do a great deal if he does attack for four. I uh, seven, sorry. He does attack for seven. Okay, it's okay. No, don't, no, pa not panic stations just yet. We're okay. <laughs> did a lot of damage though. Remember, we don't speed it up. If we speed it up, we die. Or at least um, the next one would die. So he's got nothing right now. Um, I'm pretty sure we can take one hit from a Carnaraptor. I can't imagine it having more than 700 attack. Kill Tacular. Come on. We just need to get down to two. That's all we need to get down to. Just two. And then we can go for four and seven. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to do this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, come on, go for full on six. Come on, I've got a perfect block this. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, oh, beautiful. I did good. <laughs> so, uh, one hit kills him. Uh, one, two, three. Just because I'm pretty sure Metro, Metro, was it Met, Metrocanthosaurus Kill has like 600 attack. I'm sure. Oh yep, yeah, there it is. It has a load of attack. God, it's ugly as well, isn't it? Jesus. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, go for full on six block. Oh no, he's got seven. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, Metrophodon, you got this. Oh, he goes for six though. Okay, should we risk it? I think we'll risk it. Go on. Yeah. Oh, getting our goes back. That's good. Go for four. Oh, we didn't go for anything. Oh, that's no good. Uh, we're going to have to go for five block. Oh, he's going to go for full on six. Oh, my God. We are just... Nah, we can't do it. We can't do it. He killed loads, though. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do that. All but two. Metrophodon Kill by itself Jaro. is almost enough to win this tournament. I mean, if you switched uh, dinosaurs in, you were fine. Like, if, if we just got to this creature and it didn't attack, if it Kill didn't Joe. attack, at that next turn, we would have won because we would have killed both of them. So, uh, should we just kill both of them now? Yeah, why not? Full on seven. Speed it up. Takes out Carnaraptor. And M Mastopasaurus is like, uh, no. <laughs> and there we go. Super rare pack. 1,250, 1,000 bucks. And a Spinosaurus. Always good to see another one of those. As well as 650 VIP points. Slowly getting there. Is there anything to spend our points on yet? 50,000 is way too much. It's been really it's been a long time since the VIP points were changed So I'm guessing that they're not gonna change anytime soon Which does kind of suck because it's like well, they're overpriced forever now uh, People have said for me to keep on buying the solid gold packs to get loads and loads of um, Like stuff from it like resources, but I don't think you get too much from it. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll buy one now, just for the hell of it, because we haven't bought, like, VIP points in ages, and people are getting sick of me being stingy, <laughs> hey, I've gotten this far for while being stingy, so let's see what we get. Oh, an orthocanthus, so hold on, is that a level 40 now? So it's a thousand DNA, 250 or 100 bucks, I didn't even, I didn't even read it, as well as another 1,300 uh, VIP points. So is that enough for a level 40 orthocanthosaurus? Is that Orden can Catfish? It is! Oh my god. That's awesome. I'm gonna leave that in there. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, 
leave a like. Thanks again for all the support you guys leave on the series. It really means so much to me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.